Like it, you know, just like it's just one of those names that you know suggests yeah. a level of violence. Um, uh, so well, I mean, you have sword scars. I That's do. not normal. Either. I don't know. They're just normal sword scars. I tell my friends my husband has a bucket full of swords. Well, That's not normal. It's good to have a bucket full of swords. Yeah, you've hidden a sword in a closet in case we get broken into. I can sword somebody. Well, it's it's harder to accidentally really hurt someone with a sword. You have to really want to. I don't want to hurt anybody with a sword. Really. Ooh, but you could hand me the end of my laptop cord. I will in a moment. And then. I hope everyone's enjoying our banter as we try to hook everything I'll back up here. I'm this so it gets your head <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Alright. No, Phoebe, you cannot go outside again. We go well, Rob, we go Hooper, if you're still watching, I wish you were here. I miss playing with you, my brother. Um, uh, and uh, we just had a little rough opening uh, time there, so I guess we should go ahead and play some music quickly yes. before people lose faith in the whole system. You do some of that. Do some of that. And then we'll, uh, a Game of Thrones reference. We love the Game of Thrones. Uh -uh. <laughs> We've got Pete Momfrey watching, Samuel Martino. That was a simpler time. Susan, Laura Vincent Scott. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's nice to see everybody. So this is a song that I wrote before I moved to Austin. This is a long time. This song goes way, way back to in Kansas. I was in Kansas City, and the very first time I ever went in a recording studio, I recorded this song. And it wasn't like I had a contract or anything. It was the first time I could ever get in a studio. And uh, um, the guy who was the engineer there cut me a cheap deal, and I was able to make a recording, which I spread around to some friends before moving from Kansas City down here to Austin, Texas. And... Uh, just recently, we did a Zoom show with all our Patreons, and uh, one of the Patreons was my friend Grant, and uh, Grant was one of the guys who had that original cassette tape. He recorded it on onto his computer and sent the files over, and I was able to listen to this. So this is a song written very, 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 very long ago. Won't you go for a walk down by the river with me? We'll smell the coffee in the air from the factories near the key. We'll climb that old Kansas Rail Bridge and spit down on a passing freight line. Don't forget to wear a sweater. It's getting colder all the time. Changing. Soon will be time for me to go. Have myself enough cold snaps already. I couldn't stand another snow. I've had my share of colds. Well, you know, I guess I've seen some fever too. But now I'm headed for those sandy beaches and I leave this city slurs to you. And we'll go to my favorite place. 
There's a little shack there, a real hole in the wall. Run by a three foot woman, remind me of a bone song. For 50 years, she's cooked the best food your soul will ever be. Sweet potatoes and that crackly bread. She's got fried chicken, I swear, would raise the dead. I've been all over this world and she just can't be me. Oh, yeah. So won't you keep me at Ruby?
<laughs> do you have a remote? I do, I do. Yes. Oh, yes. It's my favorite. Thank you, studio audience. Thank you, studio audience. Yes, nothing like that. Feel of the live crowd. <laughs> Just a, a sort of type of energy that could cut loose at any time. Speaking of cutting loose at any time, we'd like to play something for you now. What are we going to play? I only practice the one song. Well, let's do that one then. All right, good. We're going to play a song <laughs> that we practiced. Yeah, and then everything after that for me is going to be crap. Yeah, after that, <laughs> yeah, all the bets are off. But uh, we're going to show a little homework and uh, then we'll move on. Well, that was uh, Ruby's Soul Food Cafe, a song that uh, is uh, over 31 years old now. Good heavens. So, um, if you would please humor us and share this feed, or you could do a watch party. Um, we would we would sure be humbled by that if you if you would do that for us. We are still musicianing while stuck here at our house, trying to be the best people we can be by following the rules that we're given, and also because we care about people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are uh, uh, difficult times, kind of scary times, but there are things that you can do to make everybody's odds improve. It's mm -hmm. just that simple. You can help. So do what you can. What we can is uh, the most important thing that we're doing right now is not doing the thing that we've done all the rest of our lives, which Thank has you, been Steve. been a live performer, uh, um, you know, like gotten in front of crowds and, and spit at them, not intentionally, but inadvertently. And that's the wrong thing to be doing. Right and now, now Phoebe's so. just watching us. Yeah. That's all. Hi, Phoebs. We address <laughs> our pets in our She's voices important. because... We need it. Isn't that right, Phoebe? Should you not talk to your Phoebe's pet? Phoebe's nodding, yes, voice? yes, Phoebe, Phoebe. What do you think other people talk to their dog like? With their mind. Mm, okay. I'm going to turn on this auto switch thing here. <laughs> you just, whatever guy. I don't know. That's the okay. Improv, it's all about <laughs> saying yes. Take that person this away. This is a this is a Joan Osborne tune, and I and I learned it during the pandemic because, well, it, it spoke to me. I heard uh, my friend Sarah do it and thought, well, I'm just gonna copy her and copy in that song. So, this is what if God was one of us, and I think it's important right now. Ready? I hope so. I have to remember that one chord. Remember the one. That's it, ready. Face 
Say it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that we practiced. I don't know that you can tell that I practiced that. I don't know. <laughs> I did. I did, in fact, practice it, but, you know. It was practiced. Maybe I could have done it two camera breakdowns ago. Yeah. You can tell. Um, I'm sure people are like, what is that orange orb in the sky? That, my friends, is the logo for Patreon. What's Patreon, you might ask? Oh. Or you might also say, please stop talking about Patreon. <laughs> but we can't, because we decided to be artists in a pandemic. And so because we are artists in a pandemic, we need you to be like, hmm, I can afford $5 a month. Yes. $5 a month is all it takes, the bare minimum, mm. to be a patron of the arts. If you want, you could do $20 a month. I'm fine with that. Are you cool with it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. What if they were like, here's $50 a month? Wow. You'd be like, whoa. Well, great. you know, that's a lot of people to some a lot of people to some money. And there's uh, there's also a lot of money out there. And so it, it really depends on what you can do and what you think art is work is worth to you. How can we serve you? How can we make this a better arrangement for all involved? It's all about service in the arts, right? You know what I'm saying? It is, it is. We're looking for a happy ending. Is there a little naked guy running around somewhere without a shirt?
a song we have not yet put on a record, but we will definitely put on a record as soon as we can get to a recording studio. And when we can afford it. And when we can afford it. Which brings us back to the whole Patreon thing. Uh, let's not do it. Let's move on ahead. Right. Let's see what we can do. We just... Keep on keeping on. I think this one camera here is wonky. Look at Watch. It's going to be like I'm doing the robot, but I'm not. Ready? <laughs> Maybe see. I'll do the robot while I'm talking. Oh, now it's just going to... No. Uh. Ooh, ah, ee, ah, ooh, 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 that's... that's... Now, now it's just me moving like a robot. Yeah, yeah. So now who, who can tell? Okay, who well, tell? I think it's messing up. I don't know. Um, if anyone out there in the internet land has a used iPhone 6 or newer, we are pleading for some of those. We just had one of our iPhones we were using go out, <laughs> and we need it because this is the only way we have to do this. So, Oh, I'm still talking on my robot cam. I should turn it That's off. That's good. Well, maybe it'll just show them I meant it. I really mean what I was saying. It was really messed up. What are you going to do? I don't know. I was, uh, I was trying to figure that. That, that. that was the question right now. What is... Uh, suggest increasing vocals a tad. All right. Let's oh, okay. I can do that on the board. Here. I can just do it here. Yeah, there we go. La, 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 la. Check, check, checking. Check, 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 checking. Oh, um... Guy and I are very excited to say we are up for a live stream award. What do they call them? What, what's the name of the live stream? A live stream award. That's legit the name of it. <laughs> but I just really would like the trophy because I wonder what it looks like. Oh. And I also would just feel some sort of really deep satisfaction knowing that we did a zillion live stream shows and I have a trophy. <laughs> yes, I think. And honestly, Jess deserves a trophy. I want a trophy. If anyone can help, uh, if anyone can help, please let us know because we've got to get this woman a trophy right away. Oh, one it's... that says like, pandemic, you kicked its ass or something. Pandemic like princess. Yeah. No, I don't want to be that. <laughs> I don't want to be that. Miss like COVID. No. No. <laughs> no, that's not it either. Miss uh, COVID. <laughs> you, so uh, don't put Guy in charge of naming stuff. We play a little rollicking tune with me? Will you, yeah. will you relic? Can you just define what that word means first? Like this. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. I don't know if you can vote for it, but if you can, you bet your bottom dollar I'll spam you with it. <laughs> but you can share the more people that we get watching the live stream.
what people used to do before the internet that what play mm. music yeah pretty much and stare at the ceiling yes precisely that yeah uh and that was what we would do <laughs> so well, we are doing we're doing a cd giveaway today oh right? really yeah that's amazing a it cd is. giveaway is, is. you say well maybe i mean i know i'm a millennial and there might be people like young young in here could you please explain what a cd is sure a, uh, a cd is a small pastry that uh oh, i can grab really one you keep telling them i'll go grab it and um uh, they oh, also that's that's also good um uh, and uh, uh the uh, compact disc as a uh, musical delivery system enabled uh, a a small musician class to provide a subsistence living for themselves and their pets um not if not well. their children um uh, and uh, they're still get this they're still being made today and by people like the people in this picture. Which camera are we using right now? I'm saying, yeah, they're very, very good. Um, that's, uh, your lovely assistant. that's my, lo my lovely that? assistant. Yes. This is going to uh, be mailed out uh, to someone. That could be mailed out to someone. Could be you. And the way we do that is at the end of the show, we uh, look at, look at everybody who is able to provide some sort of tip through Venmo or um, PayPal, and uh, we use a random number generator. And with the use of this random number generator, we uh, pick someone at random and we send them a compact disc. Can you imagine? Oh, it's so quaint. Ah, oh, I remember the good old days. Baby, come on. Um, uh, where was I? Oh yes, I was gonna play a song. Baby. And uh, even another moment of tuning because you're worth it, internet. And hopefully it won't get in the way of listening to Jess yelling at the dog. Yes. child I knew I would take a bullet for you But in my life I've never seen someone so lucky grow so mean I wonder what it was that turned you on Click solution and the problem's gone. You always liked your hands clean and to manifest the promise of a new machine. Now there's an armored rifle underneath your bed, brass bright jacket and a heart of lead. Back hand of God, I heard it said. That arm of light rifle underneath your bed By all accounts your run's been good No one to tell you what you should You wear the boots around this town And no one dares 
come around But it doesn't look like you get much sleep And what you do is fast and cheap And you dream of what they do to you It's the same as you would too now there's an herbal and a rifle underneath your bed Brass brad jacket and a heart of a limb Back hand of God heard it said That herbal and a rifle underneath your bed Black rifle has its say Ends arguments a block away Bullet points Talking heads Blue and gray Blue and red Blue and gray Blue and red Misunderstood and overfed Too much hate to see what you might lose and not love enough to let you choose Now there's an herbal and a rifle underneath your bed Rats, brat, jagged and a heart of lead Backhand of God heard it say that armor light rifle underneath your bed. That armor light rifle underneath your bed. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if you'd like to be in for the um, for the raffle today, send a donation. There's not a minimum donation. If you really wanted to send 50 cents, we would still enter you into the raffle. So yeah, yeah. Honestly, if you just if if you uh, yeah, just say I can't. And just say I would be in the raffle if I could, and we'll put you in the raffle. No, no. No, I mean, come no. on, have a heart. Nope, nope. This they're, is they're they're all down on their luck. This is why I'm in charge. They're down on of their luck. All they, of this. they need all the help they can, you know. I, it's hard. If you are so broke Just, that you can't afford to be in the raffle, we will send you a CD. But the raffle's for people that are donating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, we still have hearts, but the, the rules are the rules, guy. You know. Life is hard. Life is hard. Oh my gosh! Would y'all like to know about the first fight guy I ever had? Guy doesn't want you. <laughs> It's so cute. Are you ready? <laughs> we, <laughs> we didn't fight for a whole year, guys. We didn't fight for a whole year. <laughs> and then we were playing Candyland. Cause you're a rule breaker. With the kids. Rule breaker can't play. We were playing Candyland with the kids. Rule breaker. Rule breaker. And he, uh, I grew up with five kids. I'm the oldest of eight kids. When there's that many kids, you don't know where the directions are. You're terrible. And then <laughs> I thought that when you, like, when you rolled the, the bridge thing, you got to go over both of the bridges if they were, like, there. Yeah, just like. And he just, was like, no! Just sort of like hanging improbable, right? <laughs> he was like, that is not how Jump you from the path. Why would there be the whole path? Oh, we had our first huge, furious. Tried like, to cheat furious, at Candyland. Furious oh my argument God. over Candyland. Over, you know what I mean? Like, this That's is, it. I mean, there was some money on it, <laughs> sure. But, you know, it's, it's No, still. there wasn't. 
So we had our first fight over like peppermint Patty's Bridge or whatever it's yep. called. Yep. <laughs> it's totally. True. Oh, that was worth it. I haven't giggled that much in a little while. That's good. Yeah. What will giggle you now? Giggle me? Giggle you. Giggle me? Don't giggle me. What will giggle you now? <laughs> I don't, don't know. Don't do it. Don't do it. I, I don't know any songs. She doesn't know any songs. I don't. I want to practice the Sarah Hick, the Hickman song. Well, we can do that. But, <clears throat> but not right now. Well, my grandma told me was good advice. What my grandma told me was good advice. So I didn't stop pedaling. I didn't I, stop pedaling. I think, I don't know. Maybe Black Steve, is back. Maybe Steve Young stopped pedaling. Let's blame, <laughs> let's blame, let's blame Steve Gallion. Yes, Steve. What about Julianna Knowles? Maybe she's not pedaling. What do we do in the dark here? Where's the Indian chief? I guess I need to take my clothes off again. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Ah. All right. If we go away, we'll be back again, <laughs> again. And until then, here's some music from Guy Forsyth while his wife Jessica presses buttons. We would also like to remind you we do have a Patreon account. If you love music and you love the arts, please visit www.patreon.com slash Guy Forsyth. You can also find more information online at www.guyforsyth.com. Digital downloads available. You can also buy what we like to call antiques. Guy Forsyth and Jessica Bailey are live streaming every Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, on Mondays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. on Local Channel 16 in Austin, Texas. Yes, that's right, folks. We are desperate. We are not only playing to a living room full of no one, but we are broadcasting a video full of nothing to you and your homes, where we hope that all of our nothing we're sending you makes you feel something. And now Guy Forsyth will sing a song as I press buttons and probably break the entire system. But we'll be back again. Again. Think they could still hear us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh. Well, that's good. Well, we'll just keep. Uh, I do. We'll we'll keep... I've never even had this many Plans. viewers on my Facebook page before. Well, let's see. we've got Denise Good Goodson, Michael Daly, Brian mm. Huddleston, Chuck Gordon, Christina Mars is watching us in the ah, dark. Christina! Barry Luster. Yeah, we got tons of folks in here. So I'm going to start pressing buttons. And if we go away, we'll be right back. Sink into the street, nothing moves without sign. Make a man feel crazy. Some shade, a cold bottle of wine. But I got a job to do, you know, I gotta make. 